Hello video editors. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. And welcome to Filmora 12 complete video editing tutorial. This time Wondershare really did amazing that they launched Filmora 12. They added many new features to Filmora which we needed. This time they have added draw mask tool for masking in Filmora 12. Added smart cutout tool. Ipotrate, 3D animated text and many more updates have come which I'm going to show you step by step. This video editing course from Filmora 12 is an invaluable gift in the form of a complete course for beginner to pro video editors. In this video editing course I'm going to teach you Filmora 12 A to Z. Plus, I will also teach you some very important video editing tips and tricks for Filmora 12. Which is very important for you to learn. I have worked with a lot of video editing software. I have more than 6 years of experience with Filmora Video Editor. I have taught and helped many people. Whatever I have learned I have always shared with you guys and you guys have loved, you guys have loved and supported me so much, for that I am very grateful to you all. I will always keep sharing good content with you guys. Similarly, today I have brought you this complete video editing course of Filmora 12 plus tips and tricks, which is absolutely free course. Hope you will benefit from this video editing course. In this video I am going to show you Filmora 12 video editor step by step. I will try to show you this complete course quickly and also help you save your precious time. Remember that if you want to take advantage of this complete course, watch the entire video and do not skip anywhere, otherwise you will miss very important things. So let's begin. Now I'm going to show you how you can remove green screen background in Filmora 12, and how to change its background. I have this green screen video that I drag and drop onto the timeline. I select this video and click on the chroma key tool. So you can see we remove the green screen laptop background. Now we want to add a video or picture to its background. So for this, I drag and drop a video from the media into the track below. So you can see that we have changed the background but it needs to be adjusted further. You can see that the video is also visible in the bottom border of the video above. So for that we have to crop the above video. Select the video above and click on the crop tool. I select the crop ratio as 16 to 9 and 1280 by 720. So you can see that now the border problem is solved. Now we need to adjust the size and position of the video below. For that, double click on the video below and then click on the basic section inside the video tab. Now I reduce the size of this background video. I lock the video of the track above so it doesn't get selected. And below the position of the background video I move to the background of this laptop screen. Delete the extra length of the video of the track below. After doing this, you can see that we removed our green screen background and changed its background. Now with that I want to show you another great feature of the chroma key tool. And that you can remove the background of any color video using the picker tool. How? Let me show you. For that, I have another video. I drag and drop it onto the timeline. So you can see that the background of this video is not green. And we want to remove it. So select this video. Go to the chroma key tool and click on it. So you see that nothing happened to the background of this video and the background was not removed. So now we have to click on this picker option inside this tool. And through that click on the background color of your video. When you click on it, the background of your video will be removed. Now we will similarly drag a video into its background track. You can see this video slightly above the screen. To change its position, you can move it down through the position Y within the basic section. If your background still has an error and is not properly removed. So within the chroma key tool you can further adjust the background through its offset, tolerance, edge thickness, edge feather, and alpha channel. Okay. So with that our background is removed and changed.
Now I'm going to show you if you have a video that has a background mix and you want to remove it. So you can't use chroma key on it. And you can't do this in chroma key anymore. For this you need to click on the iPortrait tool. It allows you to remove and change the background of videos without green screen. Also in iPortrait you can adjust edge thicknesses, edge feathers etc. if you need to adjust it. Ok. The way to add a background is the same. Move the video to the top track. And drag and drop any video or picture into the video of the track below. So with that we removed and changed the background of the without green screen video. Now through this iPortrait I am going to show you a trick that you will like a lot. And that I will make cool dancing videos like this. So for that I save this project. And open a new project. Here I have imported two dance videos. I drag and drop these two videos on the timeline. I want to show you a preview of these two videos. Select the video in the same way and click the iPortrait tool. We have removed the background of this video. Now let's remove the background of the second video using the iPortrait tool. So the background of both the videos has been removed. After that, select both the videos, and move it by dragging and dropping it into the top track. Here you can find the effects I use. Among them the name of the pack is Cyber Green Screen Overlay Background Volume 2 Overlay. Search the name of this pack and you will find many background overlays. Drag any of these background effects to the bottom track of the timeline. And you can set the duration of these effects according to your videos. I keep its duration between 1 and 2 seconds. The second pack effect that I drag is called Retro Green Screen Background Volume 2 Overlay. Also set its duration. The next pack effect that I drag is called Gaming Green Screen Background Overlay. You will find all the effects of this pack. And in the same way I drag and drop various background effects, and set their durations. After adding these background effects, split the two videos above according to the duration of each effect. So in this way you also have to split. Split all clips into equal durations of 1 to 2 seconds. After doing this, go to the effects tab again and drag and drop these effects from the iPortrait section over the videos. The first effect I drag is called Neon Shadow 1. The second effect I drag is called After Image 3. The next effect I drag is Neon Ring 4. And in the same way I drag and drop various effects. The next effect is Neon Shadow 1. And the last effect is called Neon Ring 9. So with that we made this cool dancing video using our portrait effects. So let us now watch its final preview. Friends will show you the essentials that you really need. And in this I will not betray you. 
Now I go back to my old project. I open it. Now what I am going to show you, maybe you all will like it. I am going to show you this 3D camera tracking trick. And for this I will use smart cutout tool, and keyframe animation. And meanwhile we remove the background with the help of green screen background key, or with the help of iPortrait. But if apart from human we can't remove the background of this object which is without green screen. So now I'm going to show you that you can remove the background of any object without green screen. For example, I have a car in this video and I want to remove its background. So first I will select the video. And then go to smart cutout tool and click on it. Select the smart brush option at the top here. And brush the object through it. If you want to zoom the video, you can also zoom using the mouse. Or you can zoom in and out from here. According to your choice. And by this hand gesture you can move the video like this. Now I select the smart brush option. And brush the car through it. Whatever object you have, you have to rub this smart brush over it. If you rub the brush in the wrong place. So to remove that wrong brush area, you have to select eraser option above. And through this you have to remove the wrong selection. Here on this panel you can increase or decrease the brush size. You can also adjust the edge thickness and edge feather. You can customize its settings. Once you brush the object then you should come to the simple mode tab. And here click on start smart cutout button. So your object tracking process will start. You will have to wait a bit. And once this process is finished. Then click on save button below. And it will cut out your object. So you can see we have the vehicle background deleted. Now I will add its background. And I will also apply a creative 3D camera tracking effect on it. So let's first drag a video into its background. The length of this video seems short to me. I increase its length by speed. You can see that the position of the vehicle is not in the right place. So to set its position, go to the basic section. And here set the vehicle position by position Y. Now I want to apply motion to the vehicle along with the motion of the video. So for that, I add an empty keyframe to the start of the car video above. And move the playhead to the end of the video. And in this keyframe I scale the size of the vehicle. And here set the vehicle position by position Y. You also have to adjust the size and position like this. And after doing this, it will look something like this. That sounds pretty awesome. As if you have created a 3D effect. Now I'm going to show you how you can do speed and speed ramping in Filmora. For this I drag and drop a video onto the timeline. You can see in this video that I have the speed of this car normal. If you want to speed it up or slow it down, select the video and go to the speed tool. From here you can fast and slow. You can see that I did this 2x fast. You can make it even faster if you want. If you want to slow down the speed, you can slow down from here. I slowed it down. You can slow it down even more. And if you want to normalize, this option is also available here. Also I give you another tip to adjust the speed, which is very quick and easy way. That is, while pressing the control key from the keyboard, place the mouse on the end of the video and capture the video like this. And by dragging the video like this, you can make the speed slow and fast. Also if you want to freeze the video. So you will find this option here inside the speed tool. Place the playhead where you want to freeze the video. And click on freeze frame option from speed tool. You can also set the freeze frame duration. If you want to delete the freeze frame. So right click on freeze frame. And then click on delete option. Also you can see the reverse option at the bottom of the speed tool. Clicking on it will apply the reverse effect to your video.
To reset the reverse effect, select the video. Go to the speed tool, and from here again click on the reverse option. So you can see that the video is reset from reverse. Apart from this, you can also apply speed to the video through uniform speed. This is also a customized way to apply speed. Through this option you can also apply the speed according to your choice. To reset the speed, you can also see the reset button. Reset the speed by clicking on it. Below that you can see very good options. If you want to maintain the pitch of the audio in the video while speeding. So with the button in front of it you can maintain the pitch. Apart from this, reverse speed and ripple edit buttons are also given here. In the speed ramping section above you will find a lot of ready-made speed ramping effects. Let me show you a preview of these effects. They include montage ramping effect, hero movement, bullet time, jumper, flash in, flash out etc. In one click you can apply it on the video and make the video interesting. Apart from this, you can also create a customized speed ramping effect of your choice with the customize option. You can also use freeze frame in any speed ramping effect and you can keep the duration of the freeze frame according to your choice. So you can see that along with speed ramping, freeze frame has also been added here. You can also set its duration on the video below. If you want to save your customize effect, click the save as custom button here. Save the speed ramping effect with any name. So you can see that we saved our custom effect here. Now we can also apply it in one click.